Welcome to Monday's Devotions. We're beginning this new series today, When Jesus Met. Tell me people who met Jesus. I wonder, have you met anyone famous? I wonder, uh, has it really impacted meeting someone who is very, very famous? Well, the wonderful thing is, we're looking at people who met Jesus and whose lives in many ways were transformed in meeting with Jesus. And the wonderful thing is we can meet Jesus there. I remember years ago, uh, one of the great celebrations was one of the Queen's Jubilee celebrations, going to, getting a ticket to go to Stormont and to see the Queen. And to be honest, we waited for hours and uh, all we got was a little glimpse of the Queen and Prince Philip as he drove down that front avenue in Stormont and passed by. It was just such a tiny wee glimpse of her uh, and that. And yet the wonderful truth is, we can meet Jesus. We can meet Jesus today. Jesus comes real to us through his spirit. We can know him. We can have a conversation with him. We can know him in our lives. What a thought. So we're not just thinking of something that's happened thousands of years ago in these encounters. We're thinking of encounters that can happen to, between us and Jesus today. How wonderful that is. The first person we're going to think about is when Jesus met Nathaniel. And we turn here to John's Gospel, chapter 1, and verse 43. And it says, The next day Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathaniel and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Amen. Now, Nathaniel was a very upright character. He was a man who was, as appears from this, a very serious and devoted Jew, a very devout Israelite. Uh, also, he seems to be a fairly sceptical character. And so, when Philip has come and encountered Jesus and Nathaniel hears this report from Philip, he, he just can't believe it, particularly when Philip tells him that Jesus has come from Nazareth. Nazareth was a place with a very poor reputation. And the fact that the promised Messiah, the, the one who had been promised for hundreds of years, who would come to rescue God's people, that he would come from a really terrible and pitiful place like Nazareth. Philip's, or sorry, Nathaniel's response is basically, get real. Can anything good come from there? He, he's dismissing it. But Philip is very wise here. Philip, his brother, is he's very clever. He doesn't argue. He just says, come and see. Let's investigate. Let's have a, a wee think about this. And so Nathaniel is encouraged to investigate. And that's one of the things we should do to people and even ourselves. Investigate about Jesus. If you are not a Christian, if you've not come to trust in Jesus, let me just say this. Come and see. How do you come and see? Open up the Gospels, where John's Gospel or Mark's Gospel. Just read about this Jesus. Come and see. If he is the Son of God, if he is the only one who can save us from our sin, the only one who can bring us out, surely you want to know. Come and see. Investigate this Jesus. Now, when Jesus comes to him and meets with Nathaniel, Jesus says to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there's no deceit. So he's speaking of his high character. And Nathaniel says, how do you know me? 
And Jesus says, I, I saw you when Philip spoke to you when you were under the fig tree. And now Nathaniel is amazed. He's so amazed that you're the son of God, he says. He says that indeed you're the king of Israel. He's totally bought over. And Jesus says, what? Because I could say, I saw you under the fig tree. That has convinced you. You ain't seen nothing yet, as the expression goes. You're going to see far greater things than this, Nathaniel. And he speaks about he would see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. That's strange language, isn't it? It takes us back to the story of Jacob. And you remember Jacob at Bethel? He had that vision when he was running for his life. And a vision of this ladder between heaven and earth in which angels would ascend and descend. And what Jesus is saying to Nathaniel, I am the ladder. I am the one who brings the blessing of heaven down to earth. I am the one who brings the sinners of earth to heaven. So don't be impressed, Nathaniel, like I could say I saw you on the fig tree. Be impressed by this. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I'm the one you need to trust in to bring the blessing of heaven down and to bring you up to heaven one day. That's what you need to focus on. Not just the fact that I could say things about you. And you know, do you see Jesus as this ladder? Do you see Jesus as this bridge between heaven and earth? Do you see Jesus as the only one who is the way, the truth and the life? No one comes to the Father except through him. This is why you have to come and see and come and believe. Amen.